there's a lot of judgment when it comes to our ancestor Noah. I know, you were going to say there's a lot of judgment when it comes to everything. There's always judgment. Um, comparisons. And it's not just us. It's actually the tradition, the rabbis, who make such comparisons. And who do they compare Noah to most often? Abraham, exactly. They most compare him to Abraham. And in fact, there are those that say that it was Moshe who was the reincarnation of Noah in order to repair the things that Noah didn't do in his generation. The classic or typical response or comparison between Noah and Abraham is what? Well, um, Noah saved himself and his family from the flood. But that's it. That's all he saved. Now, there's all sorts of traditions, midrashim, that talk about Noah working to try to convince other people, but actually, Noah's silent um, throughout his interactions with God. Whereas we know from Abraham, and we certainly know from Moshe, that there was a lot of discussion, of argumentation, of challenge back and forth between those patriarchs and God as to what to do um, but no, but Noah, nothing, not a word. So, but our tradition still sees him as a righteous person because how does the Torah portion begin? Noah ish sadik tamim hayab adorotav. He was a righteous person. So that leads our tradition to say there's two types of righteous people. And I want to read to you a passage from Levi, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdichev, um, which I think is quite a telling passage on the two ways in which one can act as a righteous individual in this world. He says, there are two types of righteous leaders, tzaddikim, who serve God. There is the tzaddik who serves the creator and has no other desire than to do so. This one believes that her power can influence the uppermost realms, as our sages have taught, the Holy Blessed One decrees, and the tzaddik transmutes the decree into goodness. But there is another type of tzaddik who serves the Holy Creator. This one is exceedingly humble in his own eyes and thinks to himself, Who am I that I should pray to cancel a divine decree? And so he doesn't. This is, as Rashi commented, Noah was of little faith. That is to say, Noah was little in his own eyes. He did not have faith in himself that he was a tzaddik who could cancel a decree, for he did not think anything of himself at all. So there's two types, according to Rabbi Levi Yitzhak, of tzaddikim. There's the tzaddikim who believe strongly that they have the power to influence the very heavens. And there are the tzaddikim who say, there is no way that I am strong enough to influence God. I just can't do it. So, of course, the first question to ask is, who are you? Which of the tzaddikim are you? Because we're all tzaddikim here, of course, right? But the question is, which type of tzaddik are you? The one who believes strongly in yourself, who has the power to influence and change and make a difference? Or the tzaddik who says, who am I? Right? I can't do anything about it. The issues are too great. The challenge is too immense. Who am I to make a difference? I think about that because this was a tough week for we the Jewish people here in Los Angeles and beyond. It is amazing, isn't it, how Regularly now, anti-Semitism rears its head in our society. In the midst of the culture of our society, there can be such ugliness and hatred, such venom for the Jewish people. For so many generations, we thought living in the United States, it was safe and we were secure and there was nothing to worry about. And yet, 
Today is the, uh, this Shabbat is the four-year anniversary of the Pittsburgh Tree of Life shooting. And that was the most horrendous act of anti-Semitism in this country in terms of sheer numbers killed. But poo 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 chas v'chalila, right? It can happen again. We see the tone. We feel it. We experience it. All you have to do is drive the 405 freeway this week to actually experience it. Or listen to that guy in Hollywood and that musician um, speak the way he speaks. So the question in front of us is, Noach or Avraham? We're all tzaddikim. Are we tzaddikim who we know can make a difference? Can we speak up? Can we do what is necessary to make a difference, to change the decrees, to change the world in which we live? Or are we the tzaddikim who say, we're righteous, but who am I to make a difference? So I ask, which tzaddik, tzaddiket are you? The one of Noah or the one of Abraham? And how might you and all of us together fight this scourge of anti-Semitism that is amongst us?